continues at 430 as we are now learning more about Officer Bobby Garden and his commitment to Hartford and the police force. Garden was killed last night in a horrific crash that sent a second officer to the hospital. Channel 3's Dylan Fearon spoke to people who knew him well and he's joining us live at police headquarters with more. Dylan. It, Kara, it truly is tragic, but by all accounts, it was clear that Officer Garten was compassionate, courageous, and dedicated. Not just dedicated to his job at the Hartford Police Department, but dedicated to this community. I'm told he was a passionate volunteer in the PAL program, which connects police officers and youth in the city. That was something he cared deeply about. And then, of course, his work with the police department. He was with the Street Crimes Unit, which I'm told does some of the most dangerous work in the Hartford Police Department. His father uh, his senior was also a police detective with the Hartford Police Department. I'm told Bobby Jr. just wanted to follow in his fa father's footsteps. He was different in that he volunteered so much as a cadet and as a police officer in our PAL, PAL program. All the kids knew him. It's just brutal. Um, he was a good person. The kid was awesome, always did a great, great job, very well respected. And unfortunately, uh, he won't be going home today. Officer Garten was just 34 years old. He spent eight years with the Hartford Police Department. And Kara, this is what the scene looks like outside Hartford Police Headquarters. This is the memorial. You see the bunting here, a smiling picture of Officer Garden. I'm told he was always smiling. And then, of course, this nice display with the rose and the blue uh, badge wreath. And, of course, flags are now at half-staff. Governor Lamont ordered that earlier today across the state. We're live in Hartford. I'm Dylan Fear in Channel 3 Eyewitness News.